Outstanding job by our football team. I thought we came out and played much better the second half on defense, although you would say they only scored seven points in the first half. But they just sort of nickel and dime you a little bit. And, um, you know, you got to make plays in space. And, um, you know, they moved the chains. Um, and their tempo was good. And I think they ran about 40 plays, I believe, in the first half. So um, second half was much more to our advantage. I thought we ran the ball pretty effectively, especially in the second half. Uh, Edwin Baker did a nice job. Larry Caper as well. A um, couple missed scoring opportunities, but you know, I guess that's the name of the game sometimes. But uh, you live and you learn. The big thing that uh, that I think we need to emphasize is, hey, we're three and one in this conference right now. Um, we got Iowa next week. We're a four and three football team right now. We battled back from a one and three start, and uh, you know that's not easy to do. So, you know, you talk about respect. And uh, our players has earned our coaches and, my, and myself our respect in terms of how we performed and practiced and kept our head up and persevered through things. And if there's any lessons there, that's the lesson that you learn. Just case, stay the course, keep a positive attitude, attitude, and things will turn out. For the first time since week number one, we can say right now we're a four and three team and we're a winner. And that was the goal. But the, the biggest thing was we really didn't give up a big play. I think they hit one, the one post for the touch. I'm not sure how deep that one was, but uh, we didn't give up the, the big play. Uh, we made them earn it, and um, again, uh, you know, it's not a perfect world out there. We could shut every receiver down, but they got three over here and two over here sometimes. You've got to be able to play the odds sometimes, and they've got good concepts as well, and a good quarterback. Their quarterback's a good player. Keith could have played much like Kirk could have played last week, but I felt like this was he would work himself out of, this, out of that. He's a very good quarterback. He's got a great head on his shoulders. Um, and he did, and he started playing with poise back there and throwing the ball on the money, and, uh, um, you know, he ended up having a pretty big game, I would imagine. You know, Blair White, 12 catches, 120-some yards. B.J. Cunningham, five catches. Uh, we got two running backs that, uh, you know, are an inch away from break one. Caper breaks one, but, uh, you know, Rock, uh, Edwin, Edwin Baker almost breaks a number of them. So a um, couple missed opportunities in there, but uh, we're a young football team, and sometimes there's going to be mistakes. But... Uh, you know, we take the win, believe me, and uh, it, it was not easy. And at the end of the game, I'm just ready for a nap, basically. So, <laughs> so, so I think our players are going to be excited to play, and, uh, you know, you hate to tone down any excitement. So the main thing that we'll do is focus on things this week in practice, but on game day, we need to turn it loose. And we need to be excited about the opportunity to play and, um, on that stage. And, uh, you know, I think that's how you do it. So we'll be excited. It'll be, a, it'll be, a, it'll be an interesting th time for our guys. And... Uh, be a big football game for us. Yeah, it's a huge opportunity for Michigan State. Uh, you know, look look at the last two years that we've been involved with, with Iowa. It's been a double overtime game over there. And it's, you know, very, very close game played, played to the last play over here last year. So, um, you know, I know our guys understand that they can, that, that we're going to be in this football game and that we can play at that level. Be a night game, which that's always exciting here at Spartan Stadium. And, uh, you know, I'm sure the place will be rocking and our fans will be out. It'll be a hot ticket, and it'll be cranked. And, uh, you know, that's Spartan Nation. And as I remember my time here since 95, 95 night games have been special around here. So um, it'll be a very exciting atmosphere for us. But we're a 3-1 football team, which I believe puts us in second somehow, tied for it. And, uh, you know, that's the positive thing. We need to, we need to capture that moment and, and uh, focus ourselves on the next challenge, which is, which is I, which will be a huge challenge for us.